Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I am going to be doing a reading for you guys, tarot, tarot and oracle. I got like seven decks, so I'm just going to pull one or two cards from each and just see what we get. Okay, it's also a general reading, so take only what resonates and leave what doesn't, you know. Don't worry about that part. You got the One of Swords, the Empress. You got two high cards right here. The One of Swords is about communication. It's also about, you know, finally overcoming a whole bunch of struggles. It's also about the truth, standing in the truth and doing what you want to do, right? Or doing what you're feeling that you need to do, right? What's right. It can also mean truths are coming out, secrets may be being revealed. The Empress is about, you know, creativity. Also, she's the mother of the deck, so maybe you might be finding out you got the mask and the Grim Reaper. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so maybe the Empress is also, you know, single in this picture to me. So it might be saying maybe a truth is coming out. You got the mask and the Grim Reaper. Somebody's wearing a mask, and, you know. And, and pretending to be somebody that they're not, right? This also says, not showing true feelings, hiding, pers personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Okay, so maybe you're going to find out something about this person that's wearing this mask. Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. So this is just saying that something is ending, right? But the Empress is telling me that, you know, all you got to do is focus on you. All you need is you. You are all that you need. You have everything that you need. You know, you don't need anybody else, especially if they're not being true to you and hiding stuff from you. Whether it's their feelings, whether it's, you know, I don't feel, it's definitely not their feelings. They're, they're hiding something from you, their thoughts or their plans or something, right? Seven of Wands. King of Cups, the person could be a water sign, Queen of Swords could be an air sign, Three of Wands, okay, so you got the Seven of Wands and the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like you really, really have to like meditate to get through this. I feel like this is kind of unpredictable, maybe you're not really, really knowing anything about it, it might just pop up for you, right? The King of Cups is saying, you know... Don't allow the stress and the struggles to get to you and, you know, try to calmly go about this. Don't allow your emotions to get in the way. Don't allow your anger to get in the way of your decisions or just don't allow that to get you into trouble. Clean the swords. This is also talking about, you know, maybe you're waiting for an apology. This is also about communication. Maybe somebody's finally going to open up to you and, you know, tell you. Maybe you need to ask questions. Three of Wands in reverse. This is about waiting for your ship to arrive. So maybe, you know, the Three of Wands in reverse is maybe like you're tired of waiting. Is what I'm thinking, right? Somebody's tired of waiting. Somebody, or somebody waited a long time. Maybe it's been happening for a long time, right? Doesn't mean the person's cheating either. It could just mean that the person is just not who they say they are and maybe they're not such genuine people. Yeah, find and say, hold on one second. Sorry. Find and sanctuary opening to your spiritual source. Um, with the Empress here, you also, and the Queen of Swords, you might be really listening to your intuition more. The Seven of Wands is about meditating, so maybe meditating is gonna help you open up even more, okay, to your, um, spiritual um, self, so I feel like maybe um, taking the time to go deep, you know, really doing some soul searching for you. You got grace and gratitude through gratitude. Joy expands, it just means, you know, even though you're going through a real hard time right now, it's like you still have to kind of, you know, appreciate and just be happy for what you do have, even though you feel like you're losing something or someone, right? It's like, you know, once you start really focusing on the good things, more good things are going to happen for you. It doesn't stay bad forever. It sucks that you guys have to go through this and this person isn't being really genuine, but not many people are nowadays, I swear. Sad. Then we have, you are good enough and hold your vision. So if you, this is Virgo, and then the Empress is Libra. All right, so I feel like with this card, you may feel like you are not good enough, and maybe this is the reason. Maybe you um, don't have such self, you know, 
high confidence. I don't, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's just saying you are good enough. No matter what, just because other people don't treat you right doesn't mean everybody's going to be like that, okay? So keep on doing what you got to do. Hold your vision. If you might feel like you want, like, if you're feeling like you want to give up, the universe is saying no. Hold your vision. Maybe you're feeling like things are being installed at the moment and things are taken, you know, like you're tired of waiting with the three of wands or things are not happening as fast as you want them to. It's like hold your vision, you know, um, don't give up, don't lose hope. Then you have growth, which is another part about sanctuary. This is like finding your special spot, going to where you feel safe, going to where you feel happy. That could be just deep within your side, just inside yourself, like meditating and stuff like that, you know. You don't have to, like, <clears throat> meditate every single day, but I feel like it can help. And then you have understanding, all right? So I'm going to read this one, all right? Because I feel like maybe the message might be a little bit better if I read that one, 43. All right, so there's one thing to read something or hear something, but it's another thing to truly understand something. You're being asked to keep an open mind and heart to allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can only come with time, patience, and perspective. Try to get outside yourself and imagine what it is like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand is to have power. So, there you go for that one. And I'm going to pull one more card out of this and then I'm going to be done to this. Now you have cleanse. It says, the time has come to cleanse your personal space and get rid of toxic energies. Implement healthy habits, connect your higher self and guides and spirit to assist you in keeping your space protected. Be mindful of negative thoughts, release low um, vibe emotions like low toxic people, relationships or jobs or anything else. Rise above. Alright, so this is just saying get rid of what no longer serves you and just keep on pushing, you know, and go for it, you know. Now, once you get rid of things that no longer serve you, you now have more space for better things to come, okay? So it's just saying, you know, and then you have endings, all right? There's definitely something ending. I feel like it's a relationship or a job. It could be people that's at your work that's being sneaky, you know what I mean, stuff like that. And it's like, you know, maybe you had to go through all this, you know what I mean, just for like a life lesson or whatever it is. And, you know, you will get your reward for dealing with it the way that you do. Um, you have endings. The time has come to say goodbye. With every ending comes a new beginning. Let go. Trust that what happens is, is in divine order. Endings come in many forms. This could be the ending of a job, a career, a relationship, a cycle, or a life. I just said all this. This signals an end to pain and suffering and an end to what no longer serves you. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I got for you guys. Um, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. And toodles. Have a good night.